Alright, so here we go. Yellow columns, or tan, or whatever you want to call it, beige, and white bottom. Okay? That's simple enough. <clears throat> so after that, I'm going to fold this and get a new clean side. Um, so now we got to dirty it up. So basically, I'm just going to take some black, take some black. Some gray. And oops. A mess. Just mix it up. Okay, get some dark gray. And basically just gonna dry brush all of the edges of the building down the sides. And wherever there's holes. Um, I want to dry brush the surface too, but I'm going to basically try to keep it more on the edges and stuff. So just blow up your brush. Okay. So just, just go along. And dirty it up. It would probably help actually if I uh, Dry brush the edge of the columns where you kind of scruff them, uh, you know, rough them up with your knives. Yeah, I think I'm just going to end up painting the inside gray. And just see how that comes out to be. But I do like this yellow, and I like the, the color because I'm I really so sick of gray. So very sick of it. dry brush but like actually get inside these these darkened spots. I'll just start painting these in gray. I, I painted them white and I didn't want them to be white. I want the breakage to be actually black. So I'm just gonna paint all this. All this. Think about exactly, you know, where the most, you know, where it would look, you know, pretty roughed up the most. It's not all too hard. Right up here on the door, you know, and then this door right here, or where where would the door be? God, I got, got my shaky hands coming in. Uh, shaky hands? Yeah, my hands just, like, every so all, every couple days, I'll just, my hands will start, just start shaking. And my parent, I, like, my mom was so concerned. And then, just turns out that it's just one of those things that, you know, you're, you're, you know, one of your family traits. On my father's side, a lot of people just have shaky hands, so. There you go. All right, so that definitely looks. It's definitely looking really good. Not sure if you can tell. You can see where I like blacking out the the holes and stuff. But it looks actually really nice. 
So, um, I think that's really all the time. For this ten, my ten minutes, I think I've wasted it basically. So, um, next time I'll just call. I'll. I'm gonna finish this side, this little corner. Basically, it's all the same thing. It's only gonna be painted white. I'll finish that by myself, and then we'll do the inside. And yeah, that's basically it. So, thanks. I'll see you next time. Okay, so we got this is all painted up. Um, waiting for that to dry, but it's it's painted the same color and it's great around the holes. I think for the inside, I'm just gonna continue on with the color that I used right here. This bone color, not the yellow, the bone white, or whatever it is. And I'm just gonna use that for the insides. Um, for the floors, I think I'm just gonna come on floors. I think I'm just gonna paint them. Something. Brown? Brown? Can you do that? That might be cool. Yeah, I think, yeah, you know what, let's do that, because white, yellow, and brown, they're all kind of like, complementary of each other, I guess. So maybe like a lighter brown? I might try that. But, uh, let's go along and start just painting. Just basically just gonna go on the inside. Just paint it. And I have no idea exactly how to position this thing, because the camera sucks. And I suck at working with it. I didn't get all the paper off on this side, so um, actually, this might dry c quicker than the foam than painting on the foam because the paper will absorb it. I guess I don't know, but um, the texture certainly is going to be different than if you were painting on the foam. But it'll look great, I'm sure. You know what I want to do? I kind of want to do one of those buildings that it's just like, where it's just like a full glass wall. I bet you could probably do that pretty well. Like use aluminum or something for the, and like tint it. Alright, anyway, I'm going to finish this up and then I'll open it back up when I'm, I'll show you what I got. That's pretty good. Alright, so I painted the inside white and then I went ahead and dry brushed it with the, the gray okay in various amounts sometimes I used very very little gray in some spots and sometimes I like almost covered the entire thing in gray so uh, you really can't I mean, the lighting's pretty crappy and the canvas of course is pretty crappy but and then I uh, also went ahead and um, grayed up the ground too it's not just plain gray now there's like deep gray in it okay so now we're just uh, I guess gonna uh, paint the floors I'm not really going to worry about the under... The, you can see... Oh, you can't. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. But I'm not going to worry about painting the undersides of the floors, because I mean, nobody's really going to get... Look underneath for, uh, you know, see if they're painted. So, that'll be easy enough. So I'm just going to paint the tops. I guess I'm going to do brown. I think, yeah, that'll be my best bet. And then, um, that'll be, I think, for the painting for the most part. And then we just got to, um and on the gravel. Alright, so, so I'm just gonna use uh I'm just gonna paint them just some brown. Alright, I painted the floors brown. I didn't feel like showing you because you really don't need to watch me paint. But um like one thing that I said in the previous video about painting it, and you can probably see see how the floors are starting to sag down? They uh the acrylic paints because they're moist they're gonna start warping the floors but that's actually okay you know it's, it's a good effect you want the floors to look all like bent and you know look like they're gonna fall collapse and fall um so those they're painted brown there's still a little bit of the cardboard showing through a little bit of the text but I mean I can, I'm gonna just give that another second coat on my own time and then dirty that up when the camera's off so I gotta move this thing along and then that's that should be it for the painting. And then we'll add the gravel, and I guess you know if you want to, you can paint the gravel. I I won't, so I don't feel like it. And then the final bit will to be to add on um, the lamp posts if you have any lamp posts if you want to.